guys, welcome back to Cornucopia Bros. I'm one of your bros, Aaron. And I'm your other bro, it's Jake. And uh, we're recording in a different area today, so there might be a little bit more of an echo. I'm sure no one will notice. I'm pretty sure no one would even care, because I don't think any of our past videos can even get a single view, so... I can't believe Aaron's not watching us. I know, he watched one video, he's like, this is great, I can't watch it anymore. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, ruined the brand. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, we, we have a thing where we, you know, we just want to keep uploading videos and then just, just it's basically more for us that we don't, we don't even watch. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, but today's topic is, uh, I should have checked this before, but, uh. Whatever, but it, it's fine. Today's topic is dental. I don't know. Going to the dentist. Getting oral. <laughs> um. So, I mean, I guess we'll just talk about fun stories, what we think of the dentist, um, you know, anything like that. So, yes, fun stories and the dentist. Oh, Those dude. two things go together, like ice cream well, okay, okay. and crackers. I mean, when you, get the, when you get the... You know, okay, you know what you never thought about? Remember when we were young and after you get done going to the dentist, they would give you, like, a lollipop or something? Yeah. Well, fucking, they give you... It's like it's like they know that's gonna that the that hard candy is gonna break your your feelings, so they like will keep you coming back in. Well, I think it's more of just it, it, it's to to uh, to placate you, to make you go, oh well, if I'm good, they'll give me candy. <laughs> this strange man I see six months, every once every six months will give me candy if I'm good. Uh, if I don't kick and scream. So, I guess, as kids, we, we, we never had the fancy dentist. You know, we had, like, the, the public, whatever, dentist. Because yeah. I've heard stories where people go to these other dentists, and they have, like, like the video game, uh, Game Informer magazines, or um, they might have, like, a... I think some of them had, like, handhelds or something, like Game Boys you could play. I'm wow. Not... Wow, yeah, no, we didn't get any of that. <laughs> uh, our, our most recent... Well, I wouldn't say re most recent, but... Uh, our dentist of a few years back before he retired, all he had was uh, was like Christian magazines. Oh yeah, oh yeah. His was his was like he was uh, he was I, okay. I don't know if he was like I, I'm pretty sure he was you know Catholic or Christian or whatever. But you know he never like he never preached it when 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 you know yeah, he was doing work. Uh, at, unlike his hands, he never shoved those down your mouth. <laughs> Uh, well, he never shoved shit down my mouth. I, maybe you got better experience than I did. Well, he, he would always shove maybe, it. Maybe you were, like, hinting at it, like, ah. <laughs> No, you would just shove a bite guard in the back of my mouth. And, I love the bite guards to a point. No, you're wrong. No, okay, so the well, the thing with the bite guard is it, it, it really like... Hey, Brennan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah, Brennan. I was going to say, it's uh, Kenny, but no, Kenny's on the other house. Yes! I know, I see you. Um, but the thing with the bite guard is it relaxes your mouth. You know, the only thing I hate is like, what, okay, so I've had two root canals, and they're not fun. But the thing that the thing that sucks is that they start moving. You know, start start sliding to the back, and that's where I'm like, okay, can you move this? Can you adjust it? You know, can you can you bring it forward? Because now now it's starting to go down, and I don't want to swallow it. Uh, yeah, no, wh whenever they put the bite guard in for me, it was always at the very back. Like, never anywhere in the middle or whatever. It was in the back. Uh, and it, it sucks. It's awful. Okay, do you think do you think they, they do this? <laughs> you might get some sniffs for the AM, ASMR people out there like... <laughs> it's the cat sniffing it. Yeah, he's going to be out right in it. <laughs> All right, but you gotta go. Right. Give it. <laughs> Goodbye, Brennan. So, uh, uh, well, actually, okay. So, what I was gonna say before is, do you think they like fucking with you, or they like the? Because okay, I hate when they have try having. I don't, okay, I don't mind having conversations with people, but like when you're when you're got your fingers in my mouth and you're like and you're drilling, you're like, oh yeah, did you see that game? I'm like. Do I respond? Do I start talking now when, like, when he's drilling? Like, yeah, you ar, 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 yeah ar, so ar, you go, ah, 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 Because I always wait until they get done, and then I continue on with the conversation until they stick their fingers back in my mouth. 
Yeah, no, I typically just kind of like give them a gurgling noise that I'm at least listening. I'm at least listening to their the question and whatnot. Yeah, I think I'll like I'll laugh like ha 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 I think he's enjoying this too much. <laughs> uh, okay, so the reason why we're talking about this uh, topic this week is because I had to go to the dentist. You know, just a routine cleanup or checkup or whatever, whatever they want to call it. Yeah. The the we'll scrape shit off off your your off your teeth and then you know send you on your way and we'll say come back in six six months. Yeah, we're gonna light your gums on fire. Yeah. <laughs> See, I never. Okay. So you and mom always kind of come. Not compl- I don't want to say complain, you know, because cause you're not complaining. But you always go, yeah, you know, I hate getting going to the dentist because my teeth always hurt after. I don't know if it's... it's not my teeth, it's my gums. They're okay, different. okay, well, your, gu- your gums hurt. Because they get real... They, like, like they just pick at it. Like, they, they, they're like, oh, here's this floss, and we just shove this right up there. Oh, I hate... I, okay, let, let me go on a little, little, little story. I love when... So the question I always get asked every okay if you can't nobody can see this but like I keep pointing at Jigga <laughs> yeah I've noticed I'm here it's I think it's because the table's higher up now <laughs> so I can just kind of sit like this and go yeah <laughs> you know when in the room but I'm pointing right at you um the the thing I love is when they're like so do you floss I have to straight up honest because they they could probably tell because. <laughs> Jesus Christ, kid! Well, uh, you left the door open. Well, I'm, I'm hope. Well, you know, we, we he thinks he's invited. Well, you know, we record this before other podcasts, which is funny because it comes out like almost a week later. But then the the other podcast, but uh, I was just leaving it open so I can hear if somebody comes in the in the door. Um, but I love, I love when they uh, when they go, oh, so you've been flossing, and I'm like, no. Like, oh, you should start flossing. You gotta start flossing? And I'm like, sure. And I go, I probably won't start flossing. I only floss when I have shit in my teeth. I don't know. I've gotten accustomed to flossing, so. Oh, so to finish up with that, uh, I love when they do floss my teeth, when they actually floss it. And they're like, fucking German, they're floss. And then I'm like, oh my. I hate like, that. And then, well, I love it because they always go, Wow, your teeth are really tight. And I'm like, yeah, and that's why I don't floss. <laughs> I, I, I hate when they do it because, like, like, I've got my mouth open, so, like, uh, the muscles in my neck are, are, are straining at that point. Or what, and not straining, but, like, right. they're, they're tensing up. And so, like, I can just feel them, like, pulse or whatever. Really? Like, it, it'll twitch, and it's just super awkward. I have a feeling that your mouth probably is the best blowjob. It will never... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will ever know. <laughs> I would hope not. I have to ask, like, you know, just, like, certain women that get blowjobs. It's just like, oh, I can feel the paw. Like, have you ever, like, listened to, like, those, like, porn things? Like, are, are those, like, I don't know if you've ever read, like, fi- like porn fiction or whatever. And he's like, I can feel his paw through his, pe- his penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> no, I have not read that. Oh, God, you should. I, I don't think I want to. Uh, but anyways... Um, so yeah, so I went to the dentist this this week, and my my favorite thing with the, with this lady is she's like, oh yeah, your teeth are really good before she's actually cleaning them. It's like you don't look like a bleeder. I'm like, well, just wait. I don't know. I don't know if you ever see like they're like they're when they um, have have the, like a towel mm-hmm. and they're like, kind of wiping up the blood. <laughs> the thing looks like it's fucking like they need to get a couple more. Um, yeah, I, uh, there, there was one. So I hadn't gone to the dentist in like a year and a half, and I wasn't like regularly uh, brushing for like six months. And I think she's like, "Yep, you're bleeding like a stuffed pig." <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> like, oh, thank you. That feels nice to hear. Wow, I've never had anything that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she, she probably was exaggerating, but. Or she murders pigs. <laughs> She comes off the farm with her hands. It's like, now we're sticking some people's mouths now. <laughs> but yeah, no, so that was, that was fun. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, this lady, she, she was trying to sell me hardcore on getting a 3D whitening. Like, yeah, you know these things? You know, these 3D whitenings, they help your, they help your mouth. 
It's like almost like she has like a. Uh, are, a there, are those like the little strips that you just? Well, she was talking about those, but she was like, "You should get the um, the mouthwash." I'm like, "Oh, you know," because the last time I heard about 3D whitening was the toothpaste and how like the crystals or whatever that was in the toothpaste would get stuck in the teeth. And I asked her that. I'm like, "Well, is that still a thing?" She's like, "She's like, yeah, well, it's not really much of a thing now, but they kind of fixed the problem." Or you know, it, it wasn't like it, it wasn't like um, uh, a severe problem. It wasn't causing your teeth. To, it just you know they just didn't wash away. So that's what. But. Oh, uh, fun, fun. Yeah. Did you ever hear about that? No. No. I yeah, I think it was when, when 3D whitening first, like the actual toothpaste. I'm came. not gonna lie. I have no idea what 3D whitening is. Uh, <laughs> I I think it's just the it makes your teeth white. Yeah. I, I think it's just. It gets rid of the plaque, or the so like your teeth. That I, I'm not a dentist. Um, Clearly, <laughs> I'm doing a YouTube thing. <laughs> uh, but supposedly it, it takes off the the, pl- the buildup of like oh, a plaque. Um, but I heard I heard somewhere, and I don't know if this is true or not. <laughs> I'm back to pointing again. I've noticed. <laughs> Just ignore me pointing. <laughs> uh, I heard somewhere that if you if. You take off too much of the of the outer lining, at, the at, enamel. The enamel. So you're a dentist. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I play video games, <laughs> and not even for a living. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, if you take off the enamel, it, 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 your teeth become more sensitive to to mm-hmm. color things. And I'm like, I don't know if I really want that. You know, I'm fine. I'm. I don't care about my. I, I care about my teeth. Like I, I don't like to smile. But I, even if I had white teeth, I'm not a good smiler. I'm not, I think those ones that look stupid when they smile. I mean, I too look stupid when I smile. Um, but, but anyways, yeah. So she was talking. That, that's what I think what 3D whitening is. Mm. Um, no, I I never liked going to a dentist. I, I there was a story that I remember when we lived in uh, Illinois that like, one of the dentists is like. Cause you know how every six month or every year they stick something in your mouth to, to um, uh, get the X-rays and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I just remember as a kid, they're like they're sticking it in, and they're like, "Oh yeah, as you get older, it, it'll get easier." And <laughs> it doesn't. It it does it, but it does because I think the technology that they have now is a little bit better than they did in back. You know, they don't have like these giant fucking except for the one. <laughs> Yeah. So my favorite thing is that at the old dentist, they had two of them. They had a bigger one and a smaller one. I don't know why they always defaulted to the bigger one. <laughs> like, just, mm. uh, I, I, I hate that because that, that just I never noticed. Gag. I never noticed the difference. I just I, I didn't know there was a difference. They're, they just said, uh, "Yeah, we're gonna use the bigger one this time." Mm. And like the, the the first two were fine, and then once they go for the second set of uh, X rays. That's when I, I start to gag on it. It's just like, oh, come on, pull it out. <laughs> pull it out. But don't clip this. <laughs> <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> man, this is going to destroy my credibility. <laughs> yeah, and when you went for president, don't pull it out or pull it out or pull it out. <laughs> I'm gagging over here. Pull it out. <laughs> I can feel my neck tensing up. <laughs> I can feel <laughs> pulsing. <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I, I just, that, that story has always stuck with me. So every time that I go to the dentist, I, for some reason, that, that's always the first thing I bring up. It's, or every, every, every once a year. I go, yeah, they say it's going to get easier, you know. But, and the other thing, the other power play I love to do is I love wearing a, um, a Mountain Dew shirt. Because <laughs> the, the hygienist always goes... Well, you know, pop rocks your teeth, you know? I'm like, yeah, it's a power play right here. <laughs> I'm trying to destroy my dog. <laughs> uh, I'm in control here, not you person who has your hands in my mouth. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I think when we lived in Illinois, I went to the dentist. And then we moved to Iowa. And then I think we we went a couple times. And I think we kind of just stopped. Yeah, stopped going. Uh, there was some money issues in yeah. the family. So and, uh, the dental was something that had to be cut. It was probably the thing that should have been cut, 
but it was more it was more of like I wasn't I wasn't mad that I wasn't going to dentist. I was like, thank fucking god I'm not going to dentist. Yeah, because I think all the way from elementary school into like uh, I want to say maybe junior or senior year for me, I I didn't go. I'm thinking because okay, so when I was in hi- when I was in high school, I think it was senior year. I had a feeling on my uh, lower left that came out, and then not thinking, you know, of anything of it, I'm like, oh, I'll just keep it clean, you know, food gets stuck, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, that was a fucking stupid mistake, because that turned into a root canal. That, that, uh, that was, um, not fun. And I don't remember, I think that was my first one, and then, um, so I, I was, uh, I think, yeah, because I was working at... I was working at Hy-Vee, and, um, oh, what was it? I think, yeah, I got that done, and then my wisdom teeth came in, and I, and I was under, I was only 18 at the time, so I was still under, I was still under the parents' um, uh, insurance, thanks Obama. Um, so, I went in to get my wisdom teeth checked, and they're like, oh yeah, we can't do that. Your insurance only covers for uh, one operation or something. And I was lucky. This was in December, so I, all I had to wait was till January. <laughs> but I'm just like, Jesus. So I ended up getting my wisdom teeth taken out uh, the ne- the next uh, January, and that was pretty fun. Uh, rinsing your mouth out. I got lucky. I only had two come in. I don't know where the other two are. Oh, uh, they're probably still up there. They're probably somewhere in my bones, and lower body. That <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrown out of my elbow. <laughs> Uh, but you, you didn't get lucky. You had all four. Well, I had, uh, I, I want to say two of them did come out. Like, they had erupted. Mm. And then the other two were still tucked in there, but they're like, nah, we're just going to get them. Well, so do you still have your other two? No, they're all four of them oh, gone. You just get them all done at the same time? Mm-hmm. It's probably the best thing. You know, yeah, right? they, they just sat me down and said, hey, we're going to drill into your face. <laughs> all right. And, and you did it when you were knocked out, right? Yeah, I was... I felt like I was semi-conscious during it, because I remember, like, seeing them move around while they were doing it, mm. but, like, I don't think I was, uh, I was able to recognize anything that was going on. Okay. But I know, I, I, but I'm aware of that they were doing it. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I was talking to a guy I worked with at the time, and he's like, yeah, well, I, I got my wisdom t- taken out, and we, t- we talked about ice cream. And then that's all I remember is talking about ice cream. I was like, oh, cool. So when I was talking to the, the dentist, or the guy, the, I don't know what they call him, the specialist. Orthodontist? Orth- yeah, orthodontist. And I was talking to him. And I was like, yeah, my uh, coworker, we talked about ice cream. And then I was out. So when you got out, I was like, you have to talk about ice cream. We have to keep this trend going. And then I don't think I did. I think I just went... They had hooked me up. I'm like, so when does this knock me out? <laughs> and they're like, oh, soon. And I'm like, good. <laughs> and then that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were gone. Yeah. <clears throat> I always love, uh... And then I had to get, quote-unquote, carried out, because, you know, like, they can't just let you walk right. out by yourself. Oh, I, just, I remember you had tried to. You're like, no, I can stand. I'm good. <laughs> and she's like, no, no, no. And I, I, you, I, you had told me that. And I'm just like, okay, well, if she's going to hold on to me one when I walk out, then whatever. Right. right. I'll just, I'll just go with it. Even if I can walk out by myself. I wish I would have. Uh, I wish th- I wish Dad was a little bit more tech savvy. Because I've been like, Dad, just record this because I want to. I want to see what I look like. Is he, have you seen those ones on America's Funniest Videos? Where yeah, like, the, the ones person, who look like they're over. They're, they're overacting. Yeah, it's like I don't think I. I ever, swallowed my tongue. Yeah. Oh, there's one that was like. Uh, she's like, Katie, get it together. And I was like, damn, she's turned all demonic. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't have it. That I remember you and mom tried to play pranks on me, and it's just like, no, yeah. I'm fully aware of what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, it was, just, yeah, it was just like, God, it's, it's, I, I it's, think they used the, the bare minimum on me to get me out <laughs> enough that it, like, it, it wouldn't affect me. Yeah, I, I just remember I was walking, and I was like, yeah, I can walk. And they're like, no, 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 we have to. And she's like, the, the, the lady grabbed my, my arm, and she's like, no, you're, st- you're walking with me. And I'm like, Okay, but I wish I wish you would let me go because I would love to just face plant right into. It. <laughs> I think it would just been funny if I just face plant right into. The, no, I can do it. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> no, you don't just face plant and hit both walls on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit the, th- you hit the, sa- the second wall twice. <laughs> well, what I was thinking was like, stay back off. <laughs> you, you fall to the right, bounce off the wall, there, hit the left wall, and yeah. then you hit the ground. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah, so then after that, um, I think. For a couple years, my teeth were, like, pretty good. Uh, and then I had my second root canal. And this one was more severe, because I think I fucked it up. Because so there was pain, and they're like, oh, yeah, if you have this aura gel, you just put it, on, put it on, your, on your tooth, or, you know, your gums, you know, it'll numb it. So I think I was just, I think I had dirty hands. You know, I probably didn't wash, you know, I was probably putting germs or something in my mouth. And so my, my, my cheek ended up um, expanding. Because the gums got infected, and I remember I was training at work, and um, it, I was like, I was like, uh, "Hey, uh, boss, can I go home?" Or because I, I, I called, I called uh, my, my dentist at the time. I'm like, "Hey, uh, I got an infection in my mouth, and I need to get this tooth fixed." And so I went to my boss and like, "Hey, boss, can I go?" You know, and he's like. Oh yeah, your cheek is really huge, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's strong body. <laughs> so I felt bad because I was getting trained on the on the area, but it was it just worked out perfect. So that was about the last time that I went until um, this year. Yeah, on my six month <clears throat> or month long hiatus of brushing, or yeah, six month to a year hiatus of brushing, I ended up with like five cavities. Oh, gee, yeah. So I was in like every two weeks because they're like, hey, okay, we'll get the three on this side. And then in two weeks, come back and we'll get the two on that side. And then it's just like, okay, that's cool. I don't want to do this, but fine. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> so the, the current dentist, who may not be the current dentist anymore. Well, which is going to annoy me because I just switched over to the dentist that you guys have. And now everybody's like, oh, we're going to go somewhere else. So... Uh, <clears throat> She is very uh, liberal with the uh, the Novocaine. Cause I should you not. I would. Have admit. you got? Sorry. Have you have you got the new dentist? No, I haven't. Okay, so okay. I was gonna go in May, but then the whole pandemic. Right. Hit. I was okay. like, well, I'm not gonna reschedule this for a cleaning and whatnot. <laughs> if I should have been thinking now, we're like, well, I got no insurance. So. Well, November's around the corner. <laughs> a- anyway, like. When I, when I was getting my, my cavities out, I think she hit me with, like, four shots of Novocaine. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, she was just like, shh, shh, shh. You feeling numb yet? Oh, a little bit. Okay, more. Shh, shh. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, stop it. I, I'll tell you what. Not, not, not to interrupt, but I'd rather be numb as hell than not numb. Not oh, no, I'd rather be numb. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 what, what I do is I just... As soon as I get into the dentist chair, I, I just close my eyes and I hold them tightly closed. And Do you really? Yes, I, I just pretend nothing's going on. I see. I focus on something. I focus on like a like a part of the, like the ceiling or I something. I can't do that because if I know it, it's like getting a shot for me. Like what, what what I do is I just look away, right, and pretend like nope, not getting a shot. <laughs> Don't and you can't stuff. you can't really look away when you're getting in their mouth. You just see it coming down. Like, oh, yeah, no. it's like if I can see. I the- feel it. If I can see the drill, it's like, oh, shit, that's a drill. That's going in my mouth. Mm. But if I can only hear it, I can sort of convince myself, it's no, they're just spraying water in your mouth. Yeah. That's all they're doing. It's yeah. really cold water. <laughs> and then, like, that, that's how I get through. And I'm sitting there, like, holding on to, like, clamping down on the fucking armrests. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, yep, we're good. <laughs> just water. Uh no, so what ha- what happened to me this year, uh, and this is why I don't go I don't go to his dentist anymore because he just pissed me off. Um, he, uh, he 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 numbed it, but I don't I think they might have hit the wrong spot. They might have numbed something up front, or they didn't use enough. So he's ended up drilling. He's drilling the far back tooth, and I can literally feel it hitting the nerve, and then, and then. And then the, he's fucking jamming it, in, you know, jamming the the filling in, and then he goes, "Oh, it broke." So I'm gonna have to take all that out and redo it all over again. Oh. And now my 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 mouth is literally on numbing right now, 
at, at the time. And so now I'm really feeling it when he's when he's drilling in there. I've and then for I think for uh, two months straight, I just felt pain in that tooth. And so I ended up scheduling it because uh, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be it's either gonna be a root canal, and I really don't. This is the far back too, so I'm like, I really don't want to get a root canal far back there because they're they're not cheap, and they also it comes with the. Um, if you can get an infection, mm-hmm. which I'm dealing with this one on the lower lower one right now, where there's an infection that nobody wants to do anything about. Um, well, nobody wants to do anything until the cheek starts popping out. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why I'm like, I hope I don't. I hope that doesn't happen. But um, so I end up scheduling it to to get it extracted, and this is like <laughs> this is a week or two weeks before the pandemic hit America, and so I I got it I got it, um, a schedule and I started to feel better. And I'm like. Okay, maybe maybe it's not hurting anymore. Maybe it maybe it just get the pain went away, and so I called I called the orthodontist. I said, "Hey, I'm, I'm going to cancel." And the lady's like, "And this is foreshadowing for fuck." Oh my god! And she's like, "Well, if you cancel the appointment, um, it might be a while before we get you back in. You know, with spring break and everything." And uh, I'm like, "No, I'm fine." And as soon as I hung up. The pain fucking came back. I kid you not. I'm like, my brain literally, you know, took the pain away. And then as soon as I knew that I couldn't get back in, it's like, oh, hey, we're wrapping it back up. So I waited probably like another month and a half. Um, And then I finally, um, well, I scheduled another appointment to get root canal with the the dentist I I just had. And because I'm like, "Uh, maybe I don't want to get it extracted or, you know. And so they end up going, they end up going, uh, well, is it in pain? I'm like, well, it goes in, because it, it went in and out of pain. And they're like, okay, well, we'll get you an appointment for tomorrow. And so they, but they're like, well, there's no guarantees. You know, something could change. And I knew, as soon as I hung up that phone, they were going to cancel me uh, this appointment. <laughs> and the next day they called me and they're like, yeah, we got to cancel your appointment. Or no, we, we, we looked at your roots. Um, we can't do it. You know, we're, we're going to send you to a specialist. So then I called the specialist, and they're like, um, yeah, uh, is, it, is it hurting? I'm like, well, it goes in waves. So it's not hurting right now. Right now, no, it's not hurting, but it goes in waves. Well, and this pissed me off. It's like, well, you do know we're in a pandemic right now, and uh, if it's not hurting right now, you know, we, we can schedule it for like a month out. I'm like, f- I'm like I'll just wait till it fucking gets affected. <laughs> and so I wait. Then so then I, that's when I waited, and then I just called. Like, I think I waited like another month or so, and I called the other orthodontist. I'm like, I'm just getting extracted, and I got extracted. And, but that was one one tooth down that was hurting. <laughs> but I have like I have three more in my mouth. One on the right side, or two on the right side, and one on the left side. So I'm just like, yeah, you know, my mouth's just fucking hurting. But um, uh. A fun, a fun story. Before be, this is also in January of this year, so I was getting my check. You know, I was, you know, they want you to come 15 minutes before you check in, mm-hmm. you, before your appointment. So I came in, I looked right at him, and um, it was a new girl, and uh, I'm like, you know, it's Aaron. I'm checking in. She's like, okay, we got you checked in, and so I'm gonna try to picture, paint a picture. So. Picture, picture, a, picture a square room, and in the square, square room, on the far left, in the far back, is the reception desk. To the right of the reception, and there's a wall um, in between the reception desk, and then there's a set of chairs. Mm-hmm. And then if you come back out, there's uh, four rows of chairs going, uh, ver- uh, yeah, be vertical, because it'd be going up. So I sat in the chairs to the right of the reception desk. Behind the wall. Behind the wall. So I was sitting there, and I was sitting there, and people were coming in after me, and they were going, and I heard, blah, 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 Aaron, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. I must be coming up next. And so I get a phone call, and the, the, the lady at the reception is talking to somebody. You know, I, you know she, I, I knew she dialed somebody. And then also my phone goes off, and but you know I don't have the number of the the dentist saved in my in my phone, so I just let it go voicemail. Let, let go voicemail because I, 
I, I'm not one of these guys. I don't like people who know what I'm talking about. And usually I think it's a, a spam anyways. <clears throat> so I end up, you know, well, I go to voicemail. And uh, I, there was a voicemail left on. And I waited probably about five more minutes. And I'm like, well, just how sh-, And I'm thinking in my head, I hope to God that this is the dentist calling me. So I end up uh, look at, listening to the voicemail. And it was the dentist calling me. They're like, <laughs> Hey, Aaron, uh, your appointment's at, you know, 8 o'clock. Uh, you gonna show up? Uh, you know, call us back. And so, <laughs> so I stood up, I stand, you know, I stood up, I went over, I'm like, hey, you guys just called me? And they're like, oh, oh, sh- sorry. <laughs> and so they end up, they end up rushing me to the back, they're like, oh yeah, we're really sorry about that, you know, blah, 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 you know. I was like, yeah, that's fine. And, and that, that was kind of like my second to last straw. Uh, of this place, and then the then they're like, oh yeah, with the tooth, yeah, shit. yeah. that was like the last straw I had with this. And then uh, I gave one more chance, and then they canceled my appointment, or, or you know whatever. Um, but you have a a uh, a fun story that you ruined for me, <laughs> and I can never look at this guy the same again. So we've been going to this dentist for I don't <clears throat> want to say probably like two years or so, maybe. Oh, we, I was going to him before you did. No, I was going to him before you. Oh, well. Because I, the only reason we were going to him is because I had the root canal. Right, right. Anyway, so, uh, a few, uh, after a few visits, I had noticed something about him. <laughs> when, whenever he would, uh, so, you know, you got the assistant who cleans your teeth, and then the, then the dentist comes by to, right. to like, check up and, and whatnot. And the way he would enter is he would literally backpedal. <laughs> like, he would, like, do the locomotion thing with his arms. And you have a smile on his face, too. He, he would. He would do the whole, like... And this is the Christian guy, by the way. He, he would do the whole, like, shuffling thing <laughs> with his arms, too. And he's just like, I'm doing it right now, and I know nobody can see it. But, so, uh, so uh, I'm, 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 I'm talking to Aaron, and I'm like... Yeah, you notice how he always just, like, backpedals in? <laughs> he's like, no, what? <laughs> and so I do it, and he's like, oh. Yeah, and I can never run see that. Every time he walked in, I literally had to hide my smile. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah, he was a, he was a good... He, I liked him. I don't think he was uh, top tier. Well, especially or, once he decided he was retiring, like... Cause that, well, that's when it's like, mm, okay, dude. I, I know at this, I, I know you're older and whatnot, right. but at this point, you're, it just feels like you're phoning it in. Right. Yeah. Well, because that's what I'm, I'm starting to think more problems are coming up with my teeth now. Because um, I'm not for sure, but I think the, the, the infection that's in my my lower lip, I think he did that one. Well, I know he did that. He because he did the top and the bottom one. I mean, I had to get a. So <clears throat> back when we moved up to Iowa. I w- we were playing chicken, <laughs> and uh, I was the one on the bike, and we- so we got this like really steep ass hill. Yeah. And our our game was somebody rides the bike down the hill, and the other two people or the other people have to jump out of the way. And I think you're the only one that did it, anyways. I think yeah, I, <laughs> I was probably the only one on the bike. No, I think may- maybe Cam maybe Cam was on the bike. He might have done it a couple times. Because I know I never did it. But anyway. So, long story short, Caleb decided he didn't want to move. He's like, "I'm going to be the one. Go- I'm going to win this game of chicken." So <laughs> I ran him over, and then I slid and, he, on- and then he did win the game of chicken because your face. <laughs> and I slid on the ground for probably a good six feet. I don't know what I look like. Well, okay, so I, I, I've always felt bad for this because you you literally ran away. You know, you're you're crying, and I I didn't know the severity. And I, I kind of laugh because you, you like you ran off, and I was like, cause it was just the way you you ran. You're like you had your face, and you're like ah, <laughs> and so I'm just like laughing. And then I was like, okay, well I'm gonna go see Jacob. And I came home, and then your whole face, or at least half of it, was just like fucking blood was coming out. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't, you know, if I would have known, it would have been funny. Yeah, yeah. So I had like slid on the left side of my face. For uh, at least a couple feet. And then I had chipped two teeth, and I had broken one of them in half. So, 
We went to the dentist. I don't remember this story too much. All I remember is that back then, I, I guess I was a bit braver because I'm like, yeah, no, let me hold a mirror. I want to see all the things you're doing to me. It's, it's amazing how, as kids, we are more brave than as we get into adults. We're like, oh, go arms if this goes wrong and this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, but yeah. But, but yeah, so I had thought the guy had, had uh, put in like a temporary like cap or whatever it's called, crap. And it lasted me good 15 years. And then I bit down on a cookie and the cookie bit back. <laughs> no, like, that cookie fought back. It's like, you eat me! <laughs> it, it broke my tooth, so I had to... I, I called the dentist, went in there, he did it, and then, like, two years later, it had broken again. Oh, jeez. So, I got, this done, I got it done again, and uh, for some reason, the insurance did not cover front teeth like that. Yeah, the fucking insurance so, companies. So, they're like, yeah, you kind of owe us $800. And I'm like, Jeez. I'm like, what? <laughs> Just do what? <laughs> well, can I give you 400 now and then like 400 later? And they're like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but we're going to need that money. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Insurance. Jeez. Yeah, that, that's, it's, I can get a whole tangent of, if, I've never understood why so my one dentist, they they give you uh, every every year they give you um, something that helps cavities, fights cavities, and I can I ask hygienists every fucking year. I'm like, because your insurance company only covers it once a year. I don't know how expensive it is. I don't know, you know what it is, but I'm like, I keep telling them like, you would think with being a being an insurance company that you would want you don't want to spend money on fillings and in all this sh- you know yeah cuz that stuff's expensive so what you want to just pay for the 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 shit that they put on your teeth to keep it from uh, getting cavities in the first place i would think that would be cheaper cuz if you start looking at root canals and teeth extraction and all that fun stupid shit but yeah i digress i'm just no, I didn't, but uh, do you have any other? Oh, nah, that's not important. Uh, do you have any other stories before we uh, we wind down? Now, you s- really. you said before you're like, well, Aaron, I hope you do most of the talking. Here. There's no way that we're gonna get a long episode. We're, at, we're at 37 we, minutes right now. I didn't now. think we would. <laughs> you talk about pulsing in your mouth and all that <laughs> shit. Learn some new shit about my brother. Probably gets the best blowjobs ever. No guy's ever gonna experience. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but maybe a woman will experience it. I mean, maybe I don't know. You just get flooded with just fluids coming out. of <laughs> It don't matter. I'm always fucking watching you, anyways. If, <laughs> I, if, I, if, if, anybody's, if anybody's even watching, anyways, I can't this believe point, this, I can't believe this is the one video to take off. <laughs> Three billion views. I can't believe it. I still, to this day, I have no <laughs> idea why that fucking loot you leave right there. But uh, all right, guys. Well. Um, we should be recording, uh, well, it's going to be out anyways before this anyways, but uh, check out the, the Corn cast. Uh, yeah, there's like five games on there that some of us have played. Yeah. I don't think I... I don't know, think... I need to check the games, because I don't think any of us have actually played any of the games. I played Saints Row 2. Oh, well. Thanks uh, for it. Well, you... <laughs> I wasn't going to name Oh, you were going to name No. Well, okay, so okay, you well, played two of them. I've played one. Right, because I get yeah, the other one that, uh... I, I, I've technically... No, I haven't even played any of these. <laughs> well, I own one of them. Same Row 2? No. We do own this? Wow. No, I don't. I, I bought it the, the week we brought it up. Saints Row 2? It's not Saints Row 2! It's not Saints Row 2! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just end it. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, check out, check out our other mini-series we're doing, uh, From the Vault, where... We find a bunch. Well, we find a bunch of videos that we forgot we did. Because usually when we record videos, some videos it's not that I forgot. It's just I didn't want to upload them at the time. Well, that and I think our our, our channel history is it goes like in a wave. We're like, oh, we're all excited. It's like, and then we start doing work and nothing. Right, and it's like, eh. and then we just forget. So uh, check that out. Um, otherwise, this has been the Corn Bros. See you.